Barrett didn't know I was going to video. No, it is. Uh, let's see that. Here, boy. It's fine. You don't have it set on zero. It's supposed to be. All right, so Barrett and I are um, put, making a little handrail today. And this is the return for the end. Like that. And um, just thought we'd show you how we do this. Thought I'd surprise Barrett and start filming him before he knew. <laughs> okay, so we have our two little returns here. And uh, this one's gonna go on this end. Now these are, what determines the length of these is you're, you need an inch and a half between the wall and the handrail. The code requires you to have at least an inch and a half between the wall and the handrail. So that's what determines. This little part of the return is an uh, inch and a half. So we basically just made these three and seven eighths. We could have made them four, but that would have made this little space a little bigger. And that space, that centers our bracket uh, in the center of the handrail. Now, one hint, one tip on brackets. I don't know if you've seen uh, those crappy brackets, and maybe I'll insert a, a picture of them. But these are the easiest brackets to deal with where you have the one hole in the center. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's a bracket that has two little holes on each side of this bracket right here but you have to you have to basically run the screw in at an angle just to get them in and it looks nasty uh -huh. yeah these that you can run straight in and you really should be hitting something you should have blocking in the wall we, we're going to have plenty to screw to so one you think one screw won't excuse me won't hold it but it will especially the screws that come with them, these big you know i don't know where they went they're big big long threaded you know stainless screws that come with it so but these are the better trust me these will save you some heart heartache yeah see that big honker mm -hmm. right there this these two mount it to the handrail this one goes to the wall but um but trust me if if, if you listen to anything i ever say in your life use this kind <laughs> not the kind i'm going to insert a picture of first we're going to pre-drill us a hole right here and hopefully this won't slip one reason why I cut them about an eighth of an inch longer is because I like to start with this tip hanging over just a bit. See how it's hanging over just a bit, Alex? Why did I say Alex? I'm sorry, Dad. Alex was helping yesterday. Because <laughs> um, yep. when you when you run that screw in and tighten it up, it's going to want to slide that way, okay? So here's a tip, another tip for you, if you can do it is get that to where it's hanging over a little bit and then, then pre-drill your hole. And you'd be surprised, even... Even pre-drilling that hole and having that hole in the same place, you'll see. Uh, now I'm gonna smear some glue on here. All right, so Bear, we got our glue smeared on there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start our little screw just to have it going so I don't have to go crazy trying to hold it still. And then we're gonna, let's see the glue. You see it slide? Yep. Now, really, the best thing to do, I need to countersink that screw somehow a little bit. So let's get the glue off. Set the screw up too much. There we go, I did it. There we go, that'll take some filler. See? Now that's, that's, a, really, nice, that's a really strong, this is the enemy of the world right here. <laughs> these tags uh you spend all day getting that crap off of there you have to take a chisel and chisel it off because we're gonna we're gonna stain 
we're going to stain these. And, uh, but that's going to be really strong. 